what's going on everyone it is b avery here for another trailer reaction this one is by sony pictures this is the venom movie official trailer number two um initially i was not excited about this movie like oh sony just leave it alone leave spider-man alone but as long as they keep this venom in their own separate universe i guess you can call this like the ultimate universe or something like that i'm fine uh, the first few images when it came out were okay. Then they came well that no that first teaser trailer was kind of whack But then they came out with the uh, first official trailer and I was you know kind of getting on board and now we have official trailer number two um, I'm just now getting to this after work. It dropped this morning, but hey, B, did you see the trailer? Not yet. I'm gonna do it after work or whatever So anyway, let me go ahead and stop talking put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk And watch me watch this trailer had to move my chair up a little bit here we go. Oh. We are Venom. We are Venom. I kind of like that voice, though. I'm Eddie Brock. I'm a reporter. I always seem to find myself questioning something the government may not be looking at. I found something really bad. And I have been... Who said that? Who said that? Taken. In association with around at the world, what do you see? A planet on the brink of collapse. Human beings are disposable. But man and symbiote combined. This is a new race, a new species. Mm. A higher life form. What do you want from me? Hmm. You'll oh. find out. I'm so sorry. We cannot just hurt people. Oh, oh. Look into my eyes, Eddie. Do oh. I see it? Oh. We can do whatever we want. I like that. Do we have a deal? Eyes, lungs, pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. That power, it's not completely awful. You have no idea how much you're scaring me right now. Eddie, cooperate. Oh. And you just might survive. Guys, you do not want to do this, trust me. Is it time now? Giant leaps will always come at a cost. Oh shit! That was badass. Oh I gotta take that back and look at that again. That was so much to take in that last little shot right there. We will eat both your arms and then both of your legs, and then we will eat your face right off your head. You will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a bird in the wind. What the hell are you? We are Finn. Oh, I have a parasite. Yeah. Name is Chan. <laughs> okay. I have some mixed feelings about this trailer right here, and we are going to talk about it. What time is it? Because um, uh, I got to go, and I'm going to tell you where I'm going to be going right after this. So, overall, I thought the trailer was pretty good. Um, I like... Uh, the guy playing Eddie Brock. Why am I forgetting his name? Tom Hardy. My goodness gracious. Uh, I think he fits the role very well. I like the voice of Venom, which is the candy man from back in the day. Um, I forgot his name and I need to find out his name because I just want to give that guy credit or whatever. I, I, I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I felt bad if I don't. Uh, but you know, he is the black guy that, um, you know, play Candyman all the way, you know, back in the day. So I like that. I'm looking on IMDb right now to try to find his name. I'm looking for Venom voice, but I just can't 
uh, find it. Now, something that I really did like in the trailer, besides everything that I was, uh, you know, ooh on and on about, is the size of Venom. Now, when the 2000, when did that Spider-Man movie come out? 2007, the Spider-Man 3 with, um, you know, the guy from the 70s show, Topher Grace was playing Venom. You know, he was relatively small compared to Spider-Man. But in this, we got a lot of nice wide shots and we see the size of Venom and he is huge. And the Venom that I knew growing up, the Venom and they used to be on Marvel vs. Capcom, that video game, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on Dreamcast. I don't know if y'all play video games back in the day. Venom was big during that time. He was much, much, much larger um, than Spider-Man. So I do like the size. Now, when he was, uh, Venom was saying, hey, oh, there's a lot to eat here, like the pancreas the heart and all that stuff like that that seemed like a little weird to me i don't know if the effects were not they did that in the very middle of the trailer when they first showed venom really big and they also did that at the end where he was like you're just going to be walking talking to the, the asian guy in the store uh like you're just going to be walking around with no little arms or something he said when Venom was talking during both of those scenes, just looking at his face, I wasn't buying it. Like, I was looking at it, and I was liking everything from his neck down, but it was just something about the face to where I was just... I don't know. It just it, it just wasn't meshing with me. It wasn't gelling with me. I wasn't entirely in love with it. However, I really did like the uh, transformation of the symbiotes. And on the earlier trailer, they called it a symbiote. I don't know why, but it, the symbiotes, how it latches on to human beings and how it's climbing all on the body and things like that. That was cool. I like that. That is something that I'm going to be looking forward to. Something also, I think this was in the anime. I should have been more prepared and had all my DVDs and stuff with you, but I probably do that when the movie comes out and this review but we had uh eddie brock uh tom hardy you know like this just sitting there and then like the symbiote of venom like the head came off on the round and was talking to him like this or whatever that was cool i like that i like how that looked in the trailer and that just kind of makes me look more forward to the movie as far as the story is concerned okay we all know eddie or if you know the comics if you know the spider-man lore uh we all know that eddie brock is a reporter and he seemed, he, I think he said something like, you know, it seems like I'm always falling into something that the government doesn't want to know about or something like that. If you're a reporter, how did you get involved in this right here? Um, of course, we're going to have to wait until the movie comes out to see. But that is just kind of something that uh, I was just kind of like, huh, you know, what's going on now? Um, it, it looked like another lady that was in this uh, film. Of course, there's a lady in the film. You know what I'm trying to say? Another actress in the movie that. I think she looked like she was Asian too. I couldn't, I couldn't, it was going, everything was going so fast, but it looked like she had some type of symbiote. I'm, I'm saying it like the, the crazy lady symbiote, um, um, parasite on her as well. And I think that she may be coinage or something like that. I don't even know if that's in the movie. Something that I, I think they should have waited for is, I mean, you want to sell tickets and things like that, but I kind of think that they showed us a little too much venom in this movie. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, the movie, the film comes out in October. And, you know, at the same time, Sony does need as much help as possible. Even though I hear that they're doing them much better than they were a couple of years ago. I think they have like a new CEO or something like that. I, 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 I honestly, um, in the past two and a half years, I just have not been uh, paying attention as much to movie news. Uh, because I, I think it's probably obvious why. If not, I'll probably answer that in another video. So I don't know. But uh, we're just going to have to see. Um, the director of this is Ruben Fleischer. Um, if you're not too familiar with his work, he did Zombieland, uh, Gangster Squad, 30 Minutes or Less, uh, and Two Night Stand. Never heard of that. But, uh, you know, we're just going to have to see. Uh, I, and initially, I just was not on board with this Venom movie. But, hey, man, as long as I don't keep this into the MCU, y'all can do whatever the hell you want to do. And then, you know, when the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe gets even bigger and expands even more, you know, we can do multiverse and things like that, crossing over dimensions and all that good stuff. Let me look up the Candyman because I got to give my brother his credit. The Candyman. Candyman. Okay. I think his name is Tony Todd. I should know his name, but we're going to have to see. Yeah, Tony Todd, Candyman. He is the guy that is voicing Venom. And so uh, I think that's a perfect choice. Now, uh, let me, I'm going to play this trailer again. I'm, I'm not going to play it to where y'all see it. I'm not going to watch the whole thing again, but uh, I'm just want to see this. I just want to blow this image up. Oh, I went too far. Oh, I still went too far. 
So I'm looking at right now while he's in the store. Okay, the dude is not. I don't know what he is. He ain't black. Sorry, guys. Okay, yeah, I had to. So Venom brings up them John ass blades and he slices those computer desks open. That looks cool. And it looks like in this last scene that Venom and Tom Hardy are kind of fighting over control or whatever. And then this last scene right here, you got Eddie Brock, Venom way over here. What is that over there? Like, this is so crazy. Is this two Venoms? Is one Cornish, but I don't see no red. So we got Eddie Brock right here in the middle. But then we got Venom up here. But then we got this other mouth and uh, tongue thing over here. It's looking like they are really... Um, fighting over the whole, this host body here. So, uh, yeah, it looks like this head is coming off over here, and then we got a Venom head over here, so we have a more than one symbiote in this movie. So, um, you know, it, it looks entertaining for the most part, but, you know, we're just going to have to see. They're going, I don't know what they're going to have to do, but, uh, yeah, this last scene right here, Venom is huge, and I, li I like the size of Venom. I like the body. I just not not liking the head. We're just gonna we're gonna have to see about that. Don't come out to October. Some they probably not finished with the effects, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. But guys, uh, oh, and uh, I'm all it's um, yeah, oh, seven to four. I got twenty six minutes to get to the theater because they're having a showing of Christopher Robin. But guys, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I forgot my outro. That is just my opinion <laughs> for the Venom trailer, trailer number two. Uh, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. Also, look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All that good stuff is right there uh, at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing links to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for the newest venom trailer number two starring tom hardy and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace